थैंक यू हरजोत एंड थैंक यू डॉक्टर चांडक ऑन टेंथ ऑक्टोबर वेन आई गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम डॉक्टर चांडक इन द नाइट आवर्स यू आर यू आर टू स्पीक ऑन स्टरिलाइजेशन और ऑटो क्लेविंग आई सेड आई कांट कम टू नागपुर then he said no it's a webinar i immediately agreed and i told him that i will speak on sterilization then now and recent trends now we as doctors we feel then means golden period what is our golden period get into mbbs study see movies get into post graduation study get through fail and make pads to so that we many carry the life like that but here we are going far back and it's not a golden period it is a very tough period of the first world war where we sterilize only on boiling and single drum autoclave now boiling never sterilized the gram positive gram negative bacteria or we had to but they had no choice and then even single drum had a very little pressure that it could withstand say 12 15 maximum and therefore the gram positive particularly and staphylo streptococcus pneumo and perhaps salmonella and tetanus these were not killed and we lost millions of soldiers and others around that time world war ended the research is went on in 1935 to 45 again the world war 2 came but before that there were some researches and ultimately people came with a vertical autoclave which saab has spoken siddharth has spoken no need to go into detail but vertical came in somewhere near 1930 that also could not work because vacuum could not be created why because the steam that is generated and underneath there is a boiling tank whenever these two are there the pressure can go only to a limit not to kill the resistant or uh, virulent bacteria so slowly it uh, got displaced in western world and the came horizontal autoclave what is the horizontal autoclave we have got a vacuum pump which we will show little later but it was to be worked at 121 degree and at that time almost all bacteria as were killed people made research on that how much is the thickness what should be the cycle and what should be the kilowatt consumption so that it doesn't take hours and hours to sterilize that got cleared and ultimately in 1945 to 70 horizontal high pressure sterilizer at 121 degrees was quite in vogue for many many years what is the temperature at that time the temperature will be at 121 and the pressure will be 21 psi what will be the consumption of the kilowatt 9 kw for a sterilizer of 2 drum 3 drum and 4 drum would be sufficient this was standardized for about what 30 40 years then we came again that how can we reduce the time and how can we make a high vacuum high speed sterilizer so came into vogue the vacuum pump and the higher kilowatt consumption and pressure to be taken at 32 psi now 32 psi pressure lena to uski thickness kya uski jacket ki thickness kya usko kitna kilowatt chahiye how much is the time exposure maybe 7 minutes 3 minutes 10 minutes because at 121 you need about 20 to 30 minutes so people started coming down and experimented and ultimately we came with a high vacuum high speed sterilizer which is in vogue from 1980s the advantage is that the sterilization is 100% and 
faster. And what is the stainless steel wagere to be used? Uh, perhaps uh, Siddharth will take, or otherwise I will tell you this, the thickness of the chamber should be minimum three to five cent, uh, millimeters. Many people, they use only two millimeters and they say, we will work no issue. Our autoclave is cheap. Please don't fall uh, tap into that. You can always go for a standard autoclave. Now, what happened when we inducted the uh, vacuum pump? We could take the pulsing. What is pulsing? First, remove the vacuum, then induct the steam, and then exhaust. With this, what do we do? We remove the air, as much as air in the chamber as possible. And Siddharth said that if you have a chamber devoid of air is the ideal situation. So we tried to attach that and we came to a high speed, uh, high vacuum autoclave. And that reduce the time to seven minutes and total cycle would be 30 minutes if you have a good autoclave. But it will sterilize well, not to worry. This is a vacuum pump and the other side that you see is a automation which takes care of all the valves operation onto the autoclave, uh, onto the nanocycle. The center one that you see is a PLC based. PLC में क्या होता है कि microprocessor होता है और ये nano cycle में they are relay based relay based they are they say it is better because it's less prone to corrupt in the moist environment plus the circuits are such that it saves energy to the tune of maybe 45 to 50 percent and time is also reduced and the operator cannot touch he sometimes I have seen that operators, they say, we want to go my five o'clock over. And from onwards only, they put the Kala strip. And sir, it is done yesterday. No, no, it got Kala. But this is not fair. Once you put any automation, these human error and human mistakes are gone. That is how. Now, kilowatt consumption also, everyday prices are going up. We started with 9 kW, we started with 18 kW, and then we started with power saving console. Unfortunately, prices are going up and up, so we have to modify our timings and we go ahead as much as possible for list time, which I told you 9 kW, 18 kW, 36 don't bother, it is for a very large autoclave for big hospitals. Okay, quality will be two. Please remember, thin so char and Tinso Sola. Many people also use very bad Tinso Do quality. Don't use. It is, uh, it will rust. And again, it will be cheaper. A doctor should not get trapped. Always. Sahib, Tinso Char, Tinso Sal hai. To hum use karenge. Right? The procedure is very simple. You create pulsing. When the no chamber in the air, allow the steam to enter from jacket to chamber. Now, when there is no air pressure, no air in the chamber, what happens? The steam that enters has got a 40% higher latent heat. Higher latent heat, although temperature is the same, but there is no air, nothing to condense. Therefore, the job is done in three minutes just super but people don't believe so they lag out up to seven minutes but i would say i can't change the world right now seven minutes seven minutes main to teen minute mein karke aapko bovidic pass hoega holo bovidic pass hoega leak test pass hoega and also your media will be negative so slowly you have to work towards Improvement. Then in 2000, what happened? We came almost to the, what is, I would say, recent trends. CSHD concept came. That means sterilize from one non-sterile area, sterile area. 
अभी ये सब मैं और नहीं दिखा सकता हूँ जो आता है वैसा बोलता हूँ दिस इट यू ऑल्सो केम डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ सेठ बट इट यू ऑल्सो of fully automated is required and what he said about the timings i slightly differ why because nowadays imported pumps or venturis are available by which post vacuum is just done in about 45 to 1 hour so 6 hour cycle or 5 and a half hour cycle and one hour, maybe 45 minutes to exhaust the gas and as he told it goes 8 uh, feet above the terrace this also as i told you i practice first i see that everything is fine and no residue remains because we are also doctors we don't want to sell we want to improve health services ultrasonic cleaner he said very beautiful instrument washer that is also newly in vogue just uh, it will throw first pani then betadine then detol then pani and then a bit of dry this is all disinfectant and never to use sterilize i mean the brush sister could use brush taka tak stainless steel ka brush uh, isme bhi ghusa dega kis mein siration mein now apna siration khalas ho jayega we have instruments so costly 25000 50000 uh, titanium molybdenum so to prevent all that this ultrasonic came but it is only a cleaning method ma siddharth may correct me later double sink platform aaya uske baju mein instrument washer aaya uske baju mein ultrasonic cleaner aaya uske baju mein dryer aaya what is the job of a dryer dryer is done at 45 to 50 degrees to retain the temper of a instrument temperament surgeon should not feel bad yaar ye kiska catch nikal gaya hai yaar it serrations don't hold vessels so he gets irritated so retaining the temper mein temper is very important at the same time jo aapka shar vagere rehte hai na wo bhi ud jata hai the great problem in the interior that i have seen is the hard water इतना हार्ड वाटर है तीन सौ पीपीटी तक जाता है आई वुड लाइक दैट यू रिमेन एट एटी एंड देर फॉर आर ओ प्लान दिस दिस इज अ मस्ट आप पच्चीस लीटर का ले सकते हैं फुल्ली डेडिकेटेड टू दी ऑटोक्लेव यू टेक पचास लीटर वाला टू ऑटोक्लेव थ्री ऑटोक्लेव एंड ऑल्सो गोज टू स्क्रब स्टेशन बिकॉज सर्जन एंड सिस्टर्स ऑल्सो डोंट लाइक देर फोर आर्म्स टू बिकम यू नो काला काला और लिटल डार्क स्किन आफ्टर टेन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ यूज लेट्स कीप दम हेल्थी एंड एट्रेक्टिव सो आई ऑलवेज यूज कि भाई स्क्रब में भी आर ओ प्लान डालो वी वॉन्ट टू सेव अवर एंड सो ब्यूटिफुल अवर पाम रिमेन that is why i use these are simple thing this is a cabinet type of autoclave ye mere khayal se scrub station hai us baat jarna zaruri hai ki aro plant aapko dalo aro plant is not so simple aro plant lagaya hai sir fir bhi aisa hota hai nahi sir you are not maintaining aro plant fir membrane filter or sada filter it has to be done every 6 months and if you don't want to maintain please don't install today you take good cars you have to send for servicing if you don't please don't buy so aisa ho jata hai so interior mein maine ye dekha hai ki log karte nahi hai cmc bhi nahi karenge kyun abhi kharab hoega to dekhenge no sir things have gone sophistication you need to maintain them don't don't call the uh, this fellow only when it is गॉन रॉन्ग और गॉन रॉन्ग कभी कभी बड़ा एरिया में रहते हैं वो लोग के पास छोटे एरिया में द राइट टेक्नीशियन डजेंट कम इकड़े तिकड़े का तरी कर चाल तो लोकल हीटर टाका गास्केट कुठे तरी टाका नो प्लीज बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट आफ्टर ऑल स्टरिलाइजेशन इज योर ओन आत्मा ऑफ दी ओटी आप उसकी भक्ति करो उसको जानो उसको प्यार करो और उसके साथ डोंट लिव इट टू दैट वॉट बॉय हु हु जस्ट लगाउ पान एंड जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू कंप्लीट हु डजेंट नो वॉट इज किलो वॉट आवर हु डजेंट नो वॉट इज टीम टेम्परेचर नो सर प्लीज डू सी एम सी प्लीज टीच दैम प्लीज ऑर्गेनाइज सी एम ई फॉर दोज यंग पीपल इफ द बॉस डज नॉट है 
put somebody else. Thank you so much. This is okay. I'll just close. This is a Paka sterilization CSSD. Chalis taka either 60 percent on the non sterile area. This is how you plan. And one minute, if you give me, I'll tell you what is, how do you plan your size of the autoclave? Very important. One OT, two OTs, normally three to four surgeries. People say, nahi bhai, wo to bhot ho jata hai. Two to three, okay, two to three, major, minor. Now each surgery will take away almost one and a half to two drums of uh, 12 by 15, you know, ne? 12 inches by 15 inches, which goes into your sterilizer. Now you say, okay, if you want to make good money, then multiply one OT, two to three surgery. That means, three, four OT go, to four, three, 12. 12, 12 into three, 36. Total 36 drum you require. So you buy three drum, four drum, or 400 and above beds, you buy autoclave, which will, uh, jumbo autoclave, which will take 12 autoclaves. Then this is how roughly you calculate. Otherwise, many people keep buying big, big autoclaves and the usage is poor. And we waste consume, consumables, we waste energy, and the result is the same. I think, lastly, if all doctors or big, big uh, universities deem, if they introduce the biomedical engineering related to hospital industry in a small way. Only those who do PG of the same subject of there. And if you can tell them, Ke Baba, iska bhi ek do marks ya to tumko kuch milega. And once you are a biomedical engineering mind, the guy who comes to sell, the guy who comes to market, he can't fool you. Because Thank you, sir, you are... for bringing those points. They were really okay. good points. Thank you, really, sir. Really. Thank, Thank you. you. Catch Thank you later. You. Catch yeah. you Thank later. You so yeah.